Good morning, good morning. Marmalade on the PCT again. Day 17, back on the trail and 102 overall. So man, what a beautiful stretch we're going through right now. We just left uh, the riverside. I'm with Doug and Sally, they're back there doing something. But we're going to get ready to do a steep climb, so I thought I'd uh, do my intro real quick. Uh, some things have changed, fires, and so uh, I'll be, I will be have a kind of a big announcement for this uh, stretch tonight. I'll probably do one by the camp or somewhere. Uh, what my decisions are, it's gonna uh, shorten my hike up, so I mean, I'll tell you that at the end when I've completely decided. But man, look at this, right by a river. Anyway, uh, we're about to do a big climb, like I said. So we're gonna do about 15 or 16 today and to a campsite. Uh, what's nice is we've done all the major passes. Silver Pass yesterday was the last one for a little while. We are going up a climb. It's about 1,200 feet over two and a half miles. So it's kind of steep. But then it's just some roller pulleys. They're not too bad. Um, man, another perfect day. I don't know if you can see the sky. We have yet to see a cloud. Uh, for the last, I would say, 15 days. So first two days, I saw a few. That's it. Not one single cloud at all. And we cowboy camped last night. My first time. I've done it before, but not on the PCT. Actually, on the PCT, but not doing the PCT. But it was my first time, and it got really cold. Got down to 31 last night. But I was warm. Stars are amazing. And apparently, we were uh, under a flight path, because there's a lot of planes in the sky. But, uh... That's it, let's get the site going. It's gonna be a really pretty day. I can already tell, especially once we get over this big uh, hill, we're gonna go up to, uh, there's a big lake up there, I forget the name of it, I'll put it right here. But uh, we're gonna get, to, when I get to the top, there's a beautiful lake up there, so let's get it started. How's it going? How's it going? Good. Just getting out. Yeah, we need to pick some people up. You guys heard though. Yeah, the, the news. Shut us out. Yeah, we were at VVR when we heard. Have safe travels. 
<laughs> trail you dog, I love it. And I'll take your horse. Trail dog. Hey guys, Marmalade here. How's it going, everybody? I uh, hope well. As promised, I wanted to kind of go over what's going on in the trail out here. Uh, some of you that maybe follow the trail and know what's going on with the fires and, and probably already know. But I want to kind of regress or digress. You know, I'm trying to, uh, you know, I started doing this uh, through hike in 2019 now because I got hurt that year. I'm doing it in chunks trying to get it done. So I was trying to get a big chunk this year uh, from Kennedy Meadows South where I started. 455 miles up to the I-80 where Truckee is and that would finish up near Echo Lake do 63 miles of the Desolation Wilderness which would be an amazing way to finish and get another large chunk and I would only have about a thousand miles to go. So I knew instinctually that uh, with the Dixie fire when I left uh, this is day 17 that uh, the smoke or the fire or something would maybe keep me from getting all the way up there but that was my original goal and when I left the trail was open. But I heard the smoke was bad. So uh, then the Tamarack fire happened, which closed about 30 miles of the trail uh, right before I left, uh, or a couple weeks before I left, but it reopened. So everything was open when I left. So now the Caldor fire, which is right around Tahoe and the Desolation Wilderness and that whole area, uh, started while I was on trail and closed an upper section all the way down, slowly down, one section at a time down to Sonora Pass. So I thought, well, Maybe my trip's only going to be about 250 to 300 miles and I'll go up to either Tuolumne Meadows and get off trail because I can get transportation and buses or go up to Sonora Pass and try to hitch out of there. So anyway, um, today, today is uh, September 2nd. Well, uh, August 31st, uh, we were at VVR doing a zero and got the word that they closed all the national forces in this whole park. So what that means is if you have a permit and you're getting ready to do the JMT or do things, you're not even allowed to enter. And uh, like us, we were in the middle of a long, big section. You're allowed to continue, but they want you to get out as soon as possible. So at first I was going to uh, just go all the way up to Twilight and Meadows and go through it. I'm just going to do it. Um, but then as I've been walking and I've been with these great people, Doug and Sally, who actually live near me, um, <clears throat> who follow my channel that's how we know each other and we're hiking together but they're get, they're getting off uh pretty soon but i was going to keep going but then i got word from southbounders that uh some of the rangers are being cool but when you get the reds meadow which from vvr where we just left and had a zero is about two and a half days for me to get there uh i'm now about two days in so tomorrow will be my day at reds meadow uh, but the rangers are making everybody when they get there if they're they're doing any part of the trails get off get on the bus get the mammoth and get out of there so i i essentially would have to get out there anyway um so 
I am about uh, eight tenths of a mile. We're camped tonight. We did actually we did a big day today, especially for them. Uh, Doug is seventy two and she's about four or five years younger, but uh, we did sixteen point something today. And yesterday out of VVR, we did 15.4 or five, something like that. So we've done like 32 miles in two days, which is huge considering the passes and what we're, the elevation we're dealing with. But we are about eight tenths away from the turnoff to Horseshoe Meadow. And that's where their car is. And you know, we always say on the PCT, I mean, they're doing the JMT, I'm doing the PCT, but we always say that the trail provides, and this is incredible because they're just amazing people. And when you see this, thank you so much, uh, Doug and Sally. <clears throat> but while we were hiking together, they just offered, they said, if you want to get out, because you need to get out, uh, we'll drive you all the way back home. So it doesn't make any sense to go about, you know, 10 or 15 more miles further and get to Reds Meadow and deal with about 19 buses and all kinds of things to try to get home and trains. And uh, they're going to literally take me right, because they live actually in the town next to where I live. So they're going to take me to where, where my car is being held for me while I'm hiking. And so I have an out. So that is the plan. And I'm and I'm bummed. Yeah, I'm happy. Uh, but man, I've got through all the highest passes. There's more to come, but not not as huge. But I got I'm proud of myself. I did. I don't know the mileage yet. I'm gonna do a video on that. But uh, um, I did about 60 side miles. It didn't count when it goes like the Whitney and going to Independence over Kearsarge Pass and going to VVR and a bunch of other places. And tomorrow we're gonna go out uh, three or four miles. Uh, on a trail that doesn't count as PCT miles. So I did close to 60 of those that were very, very hard over mountain passes. And I've done, I actually don't know. I don't know what I've done, but uh, I'll let you guys know. But I hope you understand. I wanted to explain it. <clears throat> I'm bummed because I tomorrow I'll be, I'll be on the trail 18 days and I'm supposed to do about 40. I was doing more miles than I expected, so I probably would have uh, ended, if I'd gone all the way to the top, I would have ended much sooner. But Anyway, that's why I'm getting off trail. I want you to know it's mandatory we get off trail, they say, as soon as you can. And if I kept going to Red's Meadow, I would have been asked to get out. So I'm going with these guys. It only cuts, like I said, off, I don't even know, 5, 10, 15 miles off of what I would have done. So, yeah, I mean, uh, not even close to what I expected to do, but I don't know what's going on. I mean, our climate's got so many fires and so many closed sections that from last year and this year that it's going to be hard to ever finish this thing. So we'll have to try to figure it out and just hike what I can hike. But uh, thank you so much for following along. I hope you watch tomorrow. It's the last day getting out. I'm going to have some follow-up uh, things about gear. I took stats about everything that I saw and experienced on trail. I'm going to do a video that's kind of fun on that. And things, things that failed. I had a lot of failure on this uh, hike so of gear. So anyway, thanks again. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. But that's it for tonight. And I hope you have a good evening.